Welcome to episode 18 of PVTV, where we talk all things solar. On today's episode, we are reviewing the Victron Energy Multi Plus 2 battery inverter. Yeah. Ross, why would I want to get one of these? Well, you get one of these if you've already got solar and you want to add a battery. Okay, why is that? Um, because you can add any battery to any solar system. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, yeah. So this acts as a gateway if you've already got solar that you can add virtually any battery to that sol existing solar system by gatewaying through this AC, uh, so through this battery inverter, which is something we've talked about on previous videos. Mm -hmm. So yep. existing solar and want to add a battery. That's when you first look at one of these. Yeah. Number two, um, if blackout protection is very important to you. Yeah. Um, including if you even want to have UPS capabilities. Uninterruptible power supply so that when the grid drops out and your batteries start supplying the house off the grid, there's no noticeable transfer. No dropout, yeah. No dropout. Yep. So, and what do you mean by if blackouts are important to you? Has this got more power or? Yeah, exactly. So when uh, a blackout happens, mm -hmm. the battery charger actually kicks in and it starts supplying the house with battery power. Mm. Now, a lot of inverters, when they go into this blackout protection mode, they have a very set limit of how much power they'll supply to the home. So that's around three kilowatts, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have something like a water pump or anything that goes even for a millisecond over that three kilowatts, yeah. it'll just shut out. Turn the inverter off. It'll just turn the inverter off. This battery charger has what's called a spike current capability. So it can handle that peak and so it can peak draw. A few seconds or a few minutes, it yeah. can actually handle that peak spike and peak draw um, and continue to supply the load. Yeah. And a peak draw would be something like people who have a, a, getting a blackout and they want to keep running their water pumps, for example. Water pumps are a common one. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a good example because a water pump will have a spike current, like you mentioned, where even though the water pump doesn't draw much power, when it starts up, it draws an exponentially large amount of power, which will turn off most inverters. Yeah. Whereas if you're having blackouts, you're off the grid and you're depending on those batteries to keep your water running during those times, for example, or other equipment, you can look to get a uh, Victron uh, Multi Plus because it can handle that mm -hmm. that spike until the motor kicks in, yep. for example. Yeah. Yeah. And what would the third reason to be, be to get one of these, Eros? The third reason would be if you are thinking about one day in the future going off the grid. And a lot of people are yeah. these days wanting to go fully off the grid. Yeah. This inverter would is a good place to start mm -hmm. because it's actually designed from an off-grid inverter. It's um it's essentially a grid approved, an Australian grid approved off-grid inverter. Meaning if you are to cut the grid on this inverter, mm -hmm. it will just operate off the grid charge your batteries, discharge your batteries, and, and never ever wait for the grid to return. It'll just work completely off the grid. So it's smart enough to work without the grid yeah. should you ever choose to cut your power lines yeah. and go with one of these. Now, we know that with off-grid, we, uh, we use a generator generally as a last resort instead of the power lines. Does this have capabilities to have a generator? Yeah, it does. So mm -hmm. generators, as we know, can give out a bit of a... Uh, dirty frequency. Dirty frequency, good way to put it. And your normal hybrid or grid connected inverter mm. just cannot handle that. They'll turn off straight away. So this um, inverter can take a massive range of frequency from a generator and just convert that into power to charge the batteries and, and discharge into the house. Yeah, awesome. So we're talking three reasons that you'd look at getting the Multi Plus Victron if you're looking into solar. One, if you have solar already and you want to add a battery to your existing solar system without changing the existing inverter. Two, blackouts. Yep. Are, blackouts are something you're experiencing. You need um, full coverage during a blackout and spike current, meaning this can supply enough energy to your whole house, yeah. not just sections of your house like most blackout protection, and it can handle spike current if you have things like pumps and that sort of thing that you need to have running while you're experiencing a blackout. Yep. And thirdly, it has inputs for a generator and that's a generator and can it is approved to go off the grid but is also approved to be on the grid yeah so it's one step off the grid yeah that's pretty cool very cool and 
one last cool thing about it, if, if it's not big enough and you get one today and you find in two years it's not big enough, and by that I mean the three kilowatts it's supplying you, it's not enough, you can actually buy another one or another two or another three. Ah, oh, it's modular. And they just keep joining together to create one big, big station, inverter. power station. Yeah. Which is very cool. Very cool. Thank you so much for watching episode 18 of PVTV. If you get any questions about solar and batteries, leave them in the comments below this video and we'll answer them for you soon. Take care.